And I like it also because every time I sit behind that wheel, I feel as if I'm 10 years younger. Uh -huh. <laughs> I need it. Mr. and Mrs. William Sullivan have just joined Ford's new youth movement, Pinto. Yeah. <laughs> yes, now, we had a farm car. Every time we needed parts, it was like waiting two, three, four months before you got the parts. You run into a dock strike, and there you've had it for two months. You can't get your part. There's plenty of room in the back, and there's plenty of room in the front. And it's a, ki it's a kind of a car I feel very comfortable in. I love to take it shopping. You can get into all these little squishy places with no problem at all. I average 25 miles on a gallon. I find it gives a good, solid ride. And I feel very proud driving it. It's a snappy-looking car. And it's, it's something like a jackrabbit. She really takes off. Yeah, but when do I get a chance to use it? When you go to church. Thanks a lot. Well, you're a sport. <laughs> People who used to buy little imports now have a new idea. Pitto, a little better idea from Ford. I talk about it so much at work, the fellas call me the Pinto kid. <laughs> at work, they call me the whale. Neighbors, Matheson and Ginsburg, size up the new Pinto. And the guys all wonder about how I can get in and out of that thing. And I'm no tiny Tim. I bought a Pinto, and when I brought it home, my neighbor here, Phil, he wanted to take it right out for a drive. And I did, and I really love that car. My family feels more secure in it than they did in my import. When the Pinto was announced, I liked it so much the first night I saw it, I, went, I just took it right there. And I'm not sorry I got it. She's got the sports car ride, sports car handle, and I even get in and out of it like a sports car. I got my pinner with four-speed trans, because I wanted to whip right through the gears. Gas mileage, uh, I'm getting better than I expected with the car, and I'm, I'm getting around 28 or 29 miles to a gallon. My Pinto's really what sold Phil on buying one, and I think I've got a better neighbor because of it. People who used to buy little imports now have a new idea. Pinto, a little better idea from Ford. Well, we switched from a small import to a Pinto mainly for economy. And economy is what the Donald Schaefer's got in their Pinto, plus lots more. I'm interested in mileage and things like this. So I've had other small cars and have been buffeted around quite a bit by passing trucks and buses and high wind. Um, I also like the feeling of having something in front of it. And, uh, I think this lowness to the ground, the, the wide wheel stance is a very important performance factor. Uh, John has room. He's six foot four, you can see. That's important uh, we, to me. We need the space inside the car. <laughs> and many of the smaller ones don't afford that. I feel Susan and I are really happy that uh, Ford got into the business of making small cars like the Pinto. People who used to buy little imports now have a new idea. Pinto, a little better idea from Ford. I've been waiting a good many years for some U.S. manufacturer to make a small car just like the Pinto. For Art Kiesling, the waiting is over. Ford's new Pinto is here. It handles like a sports car almost. In fact, I would say probably handles just as well as a good many of them. Well, there's a lot more room inside the car than it would appear when you look at it from the outside. I'm six foot and I find no trouble at all getting in and out. Just got gas last night. We're up to 28 and a half on a gallon. I think that's pretty good. My friendly dealer plays dirty pool because he put plates on it and he made me drive it. And uh, <laughs> that was the clincher right there. The way I feel about the car now after driving it a while is you can do anything but hurt me, dear old mother, insult my country, or try to take my Pinto away. People who used to buy little imports now have a new idea. Pinto. A little better idea from Ford. I believe in buying American. We bought a Pinto. Fireman Ron Douglas traded his import for America's little Pinto. Well, we looked at all the small foreign cars, and uh, they just didn't have what we wanted. We go to Mammoth Ski, and uh, I've been uh, there when the snow was eight feet on the banks, and the road was about a lane and a half. We have to have a car that's definitely reliable, gets good gas mileage, and I checked extremely as accurate as you possibly could. And uh, it pulled 28.7 miles per gallon, and that's a fact. My wife drives uh, 50 plus miles a day to work on the freeways, and she feels safe and solid in this car, which she didn't in our import. I think uh, Pinto proves to my wife and I that the Americans can uh, meet the import challenge and better them one. Talk to former import owners like Ron Douglas about Pinto. The little carefree car from Ford.
Pinto was the first uh, new car I ever bought. Coach Jim Ryan went from a second-hand import to a new Pinto. So the car that I bought had to be fun to drive as well as economical. When you come on the freeway, you've got to have good acceleration, and the four-speed transmission really helps out there. And the gas mileage is even better than they've advertised, which I'm personally kind of skeptical in advertising. It meets my family needs, and it's uh, just fun to drive. Talk to former import owners like Jim Ryan about Pinto, the little carefree car from Ford. I think the Pinto's really become a part of our family. And in the Joey family, one Pinto has to do for Leighton, Melanie, and Marilyn. Yeah, well, we looked around at yeah. different sorts of cars, and we all decided on uh, what kind of car it would be. Oh, yeah, one thing about being in San Francisco, too, we've got a lot of hills, and it just holds holds down when you get on top of those hills on a windy day. Hugs the road. Yeah, it's really a lot nice. easier to see when you go around the corner, it's just me, like, <laughs> <laughs> with a big car, I can't tell where the end yeah. is. And Not only can you see, but you can feel... You can feel the wheel. Yeah, it's, sports, yeah, it's yeah. really like a sports car handling. It's, it's just running really nice and smooth. It's economical. After all, I'm buying the gas. <laughs> yeah, well... I mean... Saves a lot of water and soap and everything. Yeah, well, don't you think that's division of labor? After all, he takes care of the inside, take care of buying the gas, and, well, somebody's got to wash it, too. Talk to former import drivers like the Joey's about Pinto, the little carefree car from Ford. We used to have an import until we found out there was no such thing as a minor repair. So Bob and Claudia Parker switched to America's little Pinto. The Pinto is as much fun to drive as a sports car, and it cost us $1,000 less. We uh, drove up here last night to Squaw Valley. And, and it was the worst storm in 35 years. And we were kind of afraid, but uh, the Pinto handled the icy roads and the 6,000-foot climb pretty well. And it snowed the entire way. We're, we're happy with the Pinto because of the way it handles, the way it hugs the road and the positive track steering and uh, the acceleration that's before, before on the floor. The first day I brought it to school, I took all my faculty members out on test drives. So you see, uh, we really couldn't be happier with the Pinto. It, it drives and handles just like a sports car, and well, yet yeah, it's priced just like an economy car. And besides, it's fun to drive. Talk to former import owners like the Parkers about Pinto, the little carefree car from Ford. I was one of those people who said I would never drive an American car. But then CPA Gretchen Kiesler discovered America's little Pinto. I'd seen Pinto's driving and I thought they were really a cute car. To me, it has the sportiest look and I happen to like a sport, uh, sports cars or a sporty look in a car. So I decided to go look at them. I had a really cute salesman and <laughs> We, he took me out for a test drive, and I was really uh, totally amazed at how well it handled. The car I have has 100 horsepower, which gives me that little bit extra of acceleration that I'm used to and I prefer in a car. I'm not a connoisseur of engines. All I really know is how a car feels and what it looks like. And I really think the Pinto is a cute little car. Talk to former import owners like Gretchen Kiesler about Pinto, the little carefree car from Ford.